we go. And now, following your consumer advocate, Craig Sewing, for the 7 p.m. hour, he's a San Diego native, a top-rated real estate professional by the Wall Street Journal, and featured regularly on Channel 4's The American Dream Saturday mornings. It's Whistle Time. Your host, Kyle Whistle. Here we go. Good evening, good evening. Thank you for tuning in to Whistle Wednesdays here on AM 1170, The Answer. My name is Kyle Whistle, your host with Whistle Realty, joined as always by Mr. Jason Hall, Team Home Loans, Synergy One, and he's wearing his Chargers gear today. Happy Thanksgiving, Kyle. Still supporting him. Still at two and eight, and I will be sporting the uh, pink license plate, apparently, uh, thanks to our challenge that we called out at the beginning of the season, so... So All you guys better hope the Chargers beat the Raiders, or it's going to be a three-way tie, I think, with uh, me, Paul, and uh, who else we had in here? Not Joel, but Clay. Uh, Clay. And All Joel. three of us might be sporting so we that. Said, for, if you're listening play. to the show, I still, still claim that somebody was filling in for me that day, and I wasn't here. <laughs> somebody made the picks in my place. We laid I would, out I would our not picks have done something at the beginning of the season for how the Chargers were going to do this year. And, and by you, God, I was Paul, wrong. Jason, and Clay, you guys all had the Chargers at, like, 10 and 6. They had him at 10 and 6, five. and I had him at 11 and 5. You guys had him at some absolutely ridiculous record. And I think Joel and I had them around 8 and 8, 7 and 9. Though, like there. 5 and 11. I did not project him to have a lottery pick. Yeah, 5 and 11. I think maybe 6 and 10. So, so far, I He's am so in happy. The lead. See this, Paul? He is so happy. I just I can't even look I'm into his eyes. I'm 7 for 10 right now on my pick. So, I am hands down in the lead, which winning doesn't really. Actually, no, winning does matter because the Bragging loser race. has to put the license plate of the winner on their car wasn't that what we decided we'll have to listen to the you know we can you can check that all thing. our past you can check out all our past stuff on whistlewednesdays.com right kyle yes sir so we'll have to listen to, to what that the true punishment the was true punishment. because we should, it's coming your way and Jason. we should do that for our fantasy bowl because jared who's going to be dead last in our fantasy has already assumed oh no no all that stuff we talked about that didn't happen. Kind of like Paul saying i wasn't here somebody like filled my, my pick don't hate the player hate the game <laughs> I love it. So also in studio today, we got David Tro Easy, recently married, audio video San Diego. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much, Kyle. How's the married life treating you, sir? Uh, you know what? We were together for seven years, so not much has changed. That's why he's going, <laughs> uh, I got, I got, a, I got like, a ring uh, on the finger. <laughs> awesome. Also in studio, we got Lawrence Mudgett with Safer Law. You are going to be somebody important to me here because you have experience with two baby girls right now i've got one on the way so you have double the experience that i have my friend well th- thank you for that i don't know how relevant my experience is but uh yes i am the father of twin nine-month-old girls nine and, months uh, wow that's yeah. that's that's recent that's you got exact experience that he's looking for mine's mine's almost 25 lawrence so i'm no help to kyle on raising a young daughter when his hasn't been born yet mine will be already 25 before his is born so he's looking for you Especially well, twins. One, I, I don't want to come off the wrong way here, but one sounds like a walk in the park, you know, with compared to two. It's just <laughs> everything's double. The diapers, feedings, up at night, everything. So, Yeah, they don't wake up at the same time. They don't go to bed at the same time, right? No, no, they don't. They they were <laughs> they working that from day one. They alternate it, right? So yeah. it's like, oh, wake up one hour for this one, then you get a two-hour break, but then the other one staggers, so it's like every hour. Have you guys hired a full-time nanny yet? No, uh, my sister-in-law is helping part-time, and she's great with them. So well, Get it on the dream board to have a nanny at some point in their lives. You're going to need somebody to help take care of all that stuff with uh, two young ladies plus your wife. And do you have any other kids, or are those only two? No, those are the only two. Yeah, Trust me, get a nanny on the dream board. Before they're five, you're going to want a nanny. <laughs> are you available? Or? <laughs> are you applying for the job, Jason? You know what? If Obama puts all mortgages at the post office so he doesn't have to bankrupt, you know, bankrupt the post office— I might be taking that job up, offer Lawrence. If that's an offer, I might be interested. Jason, you'd make a good nanny. I would make a good nanny. <laughs> you look like a nanny. Oh, <laughs> or a good love maid. It. A good maid. There you go. It's all good. Uh, that's awesome. So it's Thanksgiving week, guys. Who's got big plans? Anybody doing anything crazy? Yeah, I've got a little bit. Uh, everybody's kind of staring at the mic, so I'll jump in. Surprise. Uh, we've got 25 people coming to my house. That's just my family. Not, my wife actually has none of her family coming, so... And that's just part of my family, Kyle, that you know some of them. And then we're leaving the afternoon, uh, Thanksgiving afternoon, me and my dad and my uncle, we're traveling up to Las Vegas to see San Diego State play at 9 o'clock 
Thanksgiving night. They're playing tomorrow night at 9 p.m. at the Orleans against University of Cal. So we're looking forward to that. University of Cal is one of the top-ranked teams in the top 20. Uh, Paul can talk a little bit about that. Exactly. The Aztecs, yeah. the Aztecs look good, right? We we looked horrible on Saturday. We lost like the the uh, sister oh. of the blind and deaf girls team. Exactly. But we came back Monday and we put you, six you know of they, six for the threes. They needed that wake up call because they started reading their own press cl- clippings. Oh man! And they thought they were just you know they could just go in and beat anybody. And with a big test like Cal coming up, uh, you know they needed that loss to like kick them into gear. And you saw that in the previous game. Yeah, you want to go? What are you doing Thanksgiving night? Uh, Thanksgiving day, I'm actually going up to my brother's house and uh, going to spend time with uh, my family and my little two-year-old niece. Congrats. So I'm looking forward Very nice. to it. Nice. What are you guys doing for Thanksgiving there, Dave? Well, we start the uh, year off every year playing football, uh, a little flag football for a couple hours in the morning, and then um, i got to rush home so I can get the uh, turkey in the oven. And then tomorrow, of course, we're having all the families come down, and we're going to be uh, uh, making a little surprise. We're going to have a bun in the oven. A bun in the oven, nice. Yeah, we got a bun in the oven just to kind of, you know, roll out and tell the family that uh, we got another one on the way. So. Nice, congratulations. Yeah. And you Thanks, got November man. going. Your beard looks great, man. Ah, I'm yeah. jealous. Thank you. Thank hey, you. Lawrence, you you had a beard last time we met, but... Uh, I always have a beard. All right, man. you always have a beard. Real but men have beards. Dave doesn't always have a beard. Yeah, this real man can never grow something like you two have. I'm lucky to get this goatee. This is all I got. Kyle, can you grow much of a beard? He's, no. No. Okay. No. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm not the beard guy. No. It just does not grow. I mean, Dave, that, that's quite a uh, quite a masterpiece you put together <laughs> Thank there. you. Thank you. They actually it's a lot sell, of shaping. They sell beard ornaments now, so you could actually get ornaments to put on He's your got more on his cheek than he's got on his head, man. That's oh, I, yeah. I had to oh, peek yeah. underneath his hat here, Kyle yeah, and yeah. Lawrence. I love it, man. Now I know why he grows such a good one and keeps the, keeps the well, hat Well, no, on. no, no. The hair is falling from up top, and oh. I'm catching it down below. Let's, let's see how you do on the football field in the morning, sir. Oh, I'll be doing good. Be ready, man. You might well camp over there. We'll you have to uh, drive we'll, from Osa. I have to send out a little shot to, uh, you know, Insanity. Uh, that program is phenomenal, and uh, I'm ready this year for football. You're getting man. in good shape. You're all right. Oh, yeah. All right. oh yeah. How much have you dropped? I mean, what? Uh, 35 pounds. Woo! Yes. Oh, dang. Just from working out. No changing in the diet. Just you working out. Hey, wow. see if he wants to do the Ironman with us. Or not the Ironman, but the sprint oh, we're triathlon. We're going to Ironman. No, no. That's, <laughs> I know. that's the long-term sell. dream board gold. Oh, okay. But we got a sprint triathlon in March that Kyle and I are doing with a few buddies. You want in? Oh, we could talk about that. All right, we'll do, is it a sprinter or is it a sprint, full? So tell me what okay, a sprint yeah. triathlon is. No, I know what a sprinter is. I don't remember the, the one we're doing the exact distance, but it's usually about 500 meters swim. You usually have about 11-mile bike, and then you got like a 5K run. Okay. So it's like an hour and a half, two hours, depending on Perfect. the No, the swim I've got, the biking I've got, it's the running that, but, you know, dropping all the weights is going to, what's going to help you're you gonna be the run. Right. You'll be all right. Yeah. I'm worried about, I'm worried about the swim. Oh, no. Kyle swim, is worried about the swim. We both have pools in our backyards, but I'm not sure I can swim the 500 meters. I don't know if Kyle remembers, but me even jumping in the lake back in the days is like, I, I was swimming a mile a morning. You're like a dolphin, huh? Huh? Wow. <laughs> well, more, more the you know larger shark or He's the like whale. A polar bear. Yeah, <laughs> the polar bear swimmer. Polar, polar bear swim. Yeah. He's like a big polar bear swimming yep. around out there. Well, you know what? The water's so cold out there. It's probably like polar bear water right now. Right. Uh, right. Even especially right, March. You know? Actually, that's our winter now, so that's gonna be even colder. Yeah. My wife was looking up. It's gonna be 35 degrees in Vegas all week. I'm there. That's the high. 35 degrees is the high in Vegas this week. That's awesome. So it is gonna be kind of awesome. I so I'm looking weather. forward to it. So again, you're listening to Whistle Wednesdays here on AM 1170, The Answer. So David Troisi, audio video, San Diego. Black Friday is coming up. Yes, sir. You're in the retail industry, so to speak. So what does Black Friday mean to somebody like you in your industry? Well, Kyle, our, um, we both come from a retail background. We both experienced Black Friday. And, um, you know, a lot of people have to sleep outside or miss spending time with their family and we're more of a small mom and pop shop we're not like the big best buy but the great thing about us is our prices are the same so what i'm telling everybody this year is stay at home with your family spend that time on friday look through the ads give me a call email me let me know what you want i'll go ahead and reserve it for you put it aside come in the following week and you can still get that same great price wow i love that yeah. yeah, I know we've been trying to get some stuff in my office for a while. So what Black Friday <laughs> deals can I, Mr. Hall, get at Team Home Loans? Well, let's see. Oh, actually, there is uh, the music he, we were talking about. Just so you about. know, David, he does, he's trying to upgrade from black and white to color on his TVs. Like, that's that's what you're working with here. <laughs> yeah. so you have I just, actually, I, it was I no sound. TVs. He didn't yeah. even have tube TVs I, I, in his office oh, when I went there. You me, man. I have some TVs. I need some, I need some sound, though. I definitely need some yeah. sound. And I know that's a big thing that you guys do. 
But when you mentioned Best Buy, I drove by Best Buy this morning, mm -hmm. and they already have yeah. all the uh, area blocked off and caution taped off like there's a crime scene so that the people can start lining up already. Yeah. Crazy, Dave. I just don't get it. Don't, I don't understand. I mean, someone's going to be sleeping there through Thanksgiving, yeah. and they could just contact you, and if they wanted to, how do they contact Dave? Uh, there's a couple different ways. Uh, you can uh, go to our website, which is www.audiovideosandiego.com. AudioVideoSanDiego.com? Yeah. That's a good one to have. Right? Yeah, I Easy love it. enough. You Easy. can remember that? I can remember that. Yep. You can email me at David at AudioVideoSanDiego.com. Wow, David at AudioVideoSanDiego.com. You're making this tough. Or yeah. can call you spell us. that? <laughs> <laughs> or you can call I us. might need spelling. You know that, Kyle. Right? Um, <laughs> As Brian's laughing over in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> that was A-U-D. No. Yeah, I know. Uh, uh, or call us at 760-575-4819. And can I text you at that number, too? Uh, no, that's going to be an office number, so that's okay. a landline. Uh, you can text me at 858-829-2823. All right, nice. Good I job. So we're going to head to a break here on Whistle Wednesdays. But when we get back, David, I want to talk to you more about some of the you know trends that are happening right now in audio video. I know you guys just had a big party to launch some new products. So yes. when we get back, we're going to talk more with David Troisi, Audio Video San Diego. You're listening to Whistle Wednesdays here on AM 1170, The Answer. All this time to make a man.